Well, I can only talk about what I know, which is the, the little parish that I studied, but it seems to be fairly um, consistent across uh, the rest of Lower Canada. Um, small farms, close to houses close together. I think the surveyor Bouchette went through the Beauce in the early 19th century. I think it was around 1810, 1820, and described you know prosperous little farms, uh, whitewashed houses all along the road, uh, fields stretching off into this, but lots of lots of forest cover still. I looked at family sizes. Some families were you know well uh, young families, four or five kids. Uh, Families with older parents might have six or eight, um, sometimes up to eleven. Uh, that'd be the number of kids on the on the on the books, I suppose. But also, when you go through the parish records, the records of baptisms, um, you see that uh, there's a great deal of infant mortality in the or, um, a couple of days after birth or a couple of hours after birth. The priest would record that the child didn't survive. So there's a whole level of um, mortality that um, I suppose people looking at this would assume as a given but um, when you look at individual families you know the parents are there and the little kid dies you know uh, there's a whole emotional level that you you don't see in the record so much but when you see enough of these things after a while you would think that life was very hard for people um, I don't think they they probably didn't feel it that way but um, say compared to modern life, they had all kinds of risks of disease and illness and that as well. At the same time, um, within the communities, there was this wonderful sense of solidarity, I think. You can see that through the way people got together, especially in the winter, in the period from Christmas to, um, Christmas to Easter. And all the travelers that came through Lower Canada the time talk about the sociability of the the French Canadians, the the hospitality uh, that they uh, gave to each other as well as to strangers, and then beside that is the the role of the church, the the focus of uh, religious devotion for sure, um, uh, but also a, a kind of a, um, a marker for when celebrations took place. Um, so uh, what do you get these little tiny rural communities? I one time asked my mom about well you know you grew up in a early 20th century Newfoundland, uh, people didn't have the kind of things they have now. Uh, what do you, what do you, difference do you see? And she said, well, it was much harder, but I, she thought people felt happier, even though life was difficult, they were, they were working hard. Uh, it's kind of hard to relate to that in 21st century Vancouver, but um, uh, I think I can understand when I read about the, the, the color and richness of people's lives, their celebrations. Uh, uh, we've advanced a lot, but I think we've given up a lot in the process as well.